All right, everybody, welcome back to my three and one birthday special for Scott Winder, Jody Benson, and Henry Winkler with another game on the dots. So we're going to play Jeopardy Platinum Edition, created by Game Tech, of course. Let's play. Is not how I wanted to start. Try again. This is Jeopardy. We'll let them be computer players. Tell you what we'll do. Hang on here a second. All right, there we go. We can continue. And now, here is our host, Alex Trebek. Thank you, Johnny Gilbert. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to your favorite game of answers and questions. We know who the contestants are, so let's go to work in the first round, the Jeopardy round, which has the one daily double. Here are the categories. Williams. Aviation, pen names, countries of the world, authors, American history. American history 100. The Kangawa, the Kanagawa Treaty of 1854 established a U.S. consulate in this country. What is Japan? Right. American history for 200, please. In 1887, the Union Passenger Railway in this Virginia capital became the first large electric railway system. What is Richmond? You got it. Make another selection. American History for 300, please. The fatal 1970 pro protest at Kent State University was against the U.S. invasion of this neighbor, Vietnam. What is Cambodia? You're right. American History for 400. In 1853, the U.S. purchased this strip of land in northern Mexico to provide transcontinental rail service. What is the... What is the... Hmm. No, sorry. I don't know. The Louisiana Purchase? No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. That is incorrect. Gosh, that's wrong. It was the Gadsden Purchase. Let's keep it going. In 1849, Congress created this cabinet department to supervise Indians and huge government land holdings. What is the Department of... The Interior. That's right. Pick again. Very good. Authors for 100. He finished Paradise Lost and began Paragu Paradise Regained in Chalfont St. Giles, Buckinghamshire. Who was... John Milton? You're right. Authors 200. This author of Lord of the Flies and winner of the 1983 Nobel Prize in Literature died in 1993. Who was William Golding? You got it. Authors for 300. Arthur Kessler's novel about the Moscow trials of the 1930s was called Darkness at this time. The Dawn. No, that's not right. Anyone else? New. That's a correct response. Select again. Of monoplane, biplane, or triplane, the first to attain controlled flight. What's a biplane? 
You're right. Uh, Aviation 100. In the 1930s and 40s, the Cub series of planes was this company's primary product. The Lear. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. No way. The Piper aircraft, yeah. You got it. Businessmen of this city put up the money to make Lindbergh's 1927 transatlantic flight possible. What is St. Louis? That's right. Pick again. Aviation for 400. The merger of four airlines in 1931 created this company, then the world's largest private airline. What is United? That's a correct response. Select again. Aviation for 500. These recreational planes have one seat, a single engine, and weigh no more than 254 pounds. What are gliders? No, sorry. No. I said gliders. No, that's not right. Anyone else? Ultralight? Yeah. That's right. Pick again. Okay. This country's longest fjord is Sognefjord, which extends inland 127 miles. What is Norway? That's right. Pick again. Uh, world countries for 100. It's known as the land of the Aztecs. What is Mexico? You got it. Uh, world countries for 300. Gold from the Witwatersrand Sand in the Transvaal has helped make this country the top gold producer. What is South Africa? Right. World countries for 400. Because it grows mostly wheat, the region of Thessaly is known as the breadbasket of this country. What is Italy? No, sorry. Ah. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Greece? You're right. Oh, that makes sense. His op-ed column runs twice weekly in the New York Times and his on language appears in the Sunday magazine. Who is William... Who's William Colby? No. No, that's not right. Anyone else? William Sapphire. Yes. In 1878, he renamed his Christian mission the Salvation Army. Uh, William Booth. That's a correct okay. response. Select again. I knew not. In 1968, this general returned to the U.S. from Vietnam to serve as Army Chief of Staff. William Westmoreland. You're right. His 36 years on the Supreme Court was the longest term of any justice. Uh, who is William Rehnquist? No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. William O. Douglas. You got it. Make another selection. In 
E.M. Forster, Virginia Woolf, and John Maynard Keynes were members of this literary group. The Bloomsbury Group. You're right. African country that looks a bit like a boot with Brazzaville at the heel and pointed pointed noir at the top. What are the Congo? You got it. I'll take authors for four hundred. Half of this the time of your life authors ashes were interred in California and half in Armenia. That's right. Pick again. In the 1930s, this novelist wrote poems for the Monterey Beacon under the name Amnesia Glasscock. John Steinbeck. That's a correct response. Select again. He published his first sci-fi story under the pseudonym Normal Bean, as Tarzan might know. Who is Edgar Rice Burroughs? That's right. Pick again. Pen names for 200. If James Joyce, Joyce Kilmer, or Joyce Carol Oates, the one who used the pen name Rosamund Smith. Joyce Carol Oates? I was thinking That's that. That's a correct response. Select but again. I wasn't 100% confident. <laughs> Daily Double. Uh -oh. Using the name Elizabeth Bennett, she wrote an anecdotal column for the Atlanta Journal in the 1920s. Margaret Mitchell, I think so. You're right. To write Gone with the Wind. Hector Hugh Monroe was a police officer in Burma before he wrote short stories under this one word name. Saki? That's right. Pick again. This musical partner of Sir Arthur Sullivan died in 1911 while trying to save a drowning woman. Who is William Gilbert? William S. Gilbert. You got it. 1400, second place, double jeopardy time. All right, it's time now for the double jeopardy round. Here are the categories. Art, royalty, music, black America, the Bible, theater. Though poppy and nut oils have also been used, this is a usual oil in oil paint. Linseed oil. Yes. Toussaint Le Vorture, a painting series by Jacob Lawrence, deals with the slave rebellion in this country. What is Haiti? That's a correct response. Select again. I knew it couldn't be France. That'd be too obvious. She was Queen Juliana's firstborn child. Princess Mar Marie? No. No, that's not right. Anyone else? I'll just say who is Princess Margaret. No. Gosh, that's wrong. Queen Beatrix. You got it. King Sancho the Fourth of Navarre was the father-in-law of this Leonine English king. Who was King John, or who was uh, Richard the First? You got it. Make another selection. Uh, royalty for two hundred. Her grandfather, William the Ninth, was a famous troubadour, as well as the Duke of Aquitaine. Who was Eleanor of Aquitaine? That's a correct response. Select again. Uh, royalty for six hundred. This Prince Consort's parents were Prince Andrew of Greece and Princess Alice of Battenberg. Who was Prince Philip? 
That's right. Pick again. Royalty for 800. In 1286, his country's King Alexander II died near Fife when his sports fell over a cliff. What is Scotland? Right. Here we go. I will take art for 200. In 1852, James Ives married this man's sister-in-law and joined his art painting firm. Nathan Currier? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Next clue. Miles Davis said of him, you know you can't play anything on the horn that Louis hasn't played. Who is Louis Armstrong? You got it. Make another selection. Uh, music for 400. This deep male singing voice is spelled the same as a fish, but it's pronounced differently. What is bass? You're right. Music for 600. Several opera scores by this Italian rival of Mozart were discovered in 1988 in Czechoslovakia. Who is Antonio Soleri? Yes. Music for 800. This percussion instrument that resembles a xylophone is the Guatemalan national instrument. What is the marimba? You got it. Music for 1,000. Born in Bombay in 1936, he won the 1958 Liverpool International Conductors Competition. Leonard Bernstein. No, sorry. Nope. Sorry, wrong. Zubin Mehta. Uh, Art 400. Under the influence of Calder, Lynn Chadwick made several of these moving sculptures. What are mobiles? That's right. Pick again. Art for 600. 1933, Ben Sean collaborated with this Mexican painter on a series of rules and murals in Rockefeller Center. Who is Frida Kahlo? Gosh, that's wrong. No. Oh, wait a minute. Diego Rivera, yeah. Right. I don't know why I was thinking Frida Kahlo. That's okay. <laughs> Daily Double, uh-oh. Here's the clue. Waiting for Lefty by Clifford Odette's concerns an impending strike of these workers. Cab drivers? That's right. Pick again. And she's a, she's off by $100. In 1991, Martin Sheen started a revival of this Arthur Miller play about the Salem witch trials. What is the Crucible? You got it. Uh, theater for 200. In 1993, a musical version of this playwright's The Goodbye Girl premiered on Broadway. Who is Neil Simon? Yes. Theater for 400. In the original production of Minnie's Boys, Shelley Winters played the mother of this comedy team. Marx Brothers? Yeah. You got it. Make another selection. We're having a teeter-totter battle right now. After the walls of this city north of the dead t sea tumbled, it remained unoccupied for centuries. What is Jericho? You're right. I'll take a theater for 600. This Michael Bennett musical received the 1936 Pulitzer Prize in Drama. Sorry, wrong. Kathy's slipping a little bit, but I'm still in the lead for now. And it was a chorus line. All right. Let me take Art for 800. I'll do 1400. Here's the clue in Art. This American action painter abandoned the use of brushes in 1947, pouring the paint on the canvas. 
who was... I don't know. No, sorry. Still in the lead, however. Jackson Pollock, but I'm still in the lead. That's okay. Genesis traces the origin of linguistic diversity back to an incident in this city. What is Jerusalem? Sorry, wrong. Uh oh. Babel. That's a correct response. Select again. Uh oh. In 1967, he resigned as America's first black solicitor general to become the first black Supreme Court justice. Who was William Rehnquist? No. Oh, I'm sorry, that's wrong. Oh boy, this is a tough one. Thurgood Marshall? Yes. According to Luke chapter 1, verse 26, it was the hometown of Jesus' mother. Nazareth. That's a correct response. I was thinking Select that. Again. You can see a lot, Abraham's nephew, in this sinful city. What is Sodom? You got it. I'll take the Bible Thousand. The two leading cities of ancient Phoenicia were Sidon and this city. Damascus? I was thinking that. Gosh, that's wrong. Good thing I didn't buzz in. Right now it's a teeter-totter teeter battle between Kathy and I. I only trail her by $100. Tired. That's a correct response. Select again. Oh boy. Lewis Latimer was an engineer for this inventor in the 1880s and wrote a book on his lighting system. Lewis Thomas Edison? That's right. Pick again. Black America 600? Or 400? In 1985, golfer Lee Elder became the first black to play in this major tournament in Augusta, Georgia. What is the Masters? Right. Last clue. In 1985, Mississippi held a week-long celebration authoring this late author, a native son. James Baldwin? No, sorry. Oh, now it's anyone's game. I'm not going to try this one. Gosh, that's wrong. Mary's not going to be around for Final Jeopardy, so it's all going to be based on between Kathy and I. All right. Who was it? Richard Wright. Final Jeopardy. All right, players, start thinking about your wagers for Final Jeopardy based on what you know about this category. Colleges and universities. Founded by Philadelphia Baptist AJ4 as an evening college, it became a university in 1907. That's wrong. So I lose, but that's okay. I did my best. Way to go, champ. See you all for another game right after this break. Thank you for playing Jeopardy. Let's do it again real soon.